it is indeed worthy of note to recognize that all of the facets of the current time are in accordance with the prophecy and as the prophecies have been given so is it then that our father ever honors those who speak such in his name then what has been chosen indeed one who stands intending goodness and righteousness and that truth honor love and compassion shall ever be the handmaidens with which he shall do that good work in the recognition of this look within as well and consider that each of you are in this time which clearly could be called sacred chosen also it is not whether or not you follow the same or similar path as this one now called Francis the first but rather that you follow that path which your heart guide you to in the knowing that as you do you shall ever be a right and that our father your father will be with you in the journey cast aside limitation and doubt and know these to have been worthy tools with which you have fashioned the clarity and brightness of your own spirit never holding judgment against self or others for having wielded these tools in the fashioning of purifying yourselves in the journey called life but seeing all things in their proper stead as merely that which has granted you the opportunity to set yourselves free knowing ever that as you hold an intent before you the manifold who serve in father's name hold it with you as you look to that which lies ahead in the potentials of your current journey hold these in the understanding that as you choose so shall it manifest but let your choices not be made with idleness nor by happenstance or influence from without for the measure of that which is not within is temporal and that within measures in the eternal claim then the knowing of this and as you do it shall become the new instruments the new tools if you would with which you can do those works according to your intent in so far as you recognize that now is that time for you to do these things then offer these in a spirit of oneness to others we do not state this here that you shall go forth and proclaim this to all whom you meet in the outward sense but that indeed you should go forth and proclaim these in the manner of who and what you are and the intents that you hold before you with a simple gesture a look of compassion and love a smile a worthy word to support and encourage another but ever holding within that light of truth that thou knowest to be the father so as you do these things and greater then shall come that which is the understanding of your divine nature and heritage as children of god so do we equally then as the good servant of our father the master and the spirit called holy celebrate all of you for as one is chosen all are chosen and as you support and encourage the chosen then too are you supported and encouraged 
Now is the time for the preparation of the good wine, the wine that comes from the vines that have been tended with care and compassion, with the communion of self to the vine of life, and the knowing of this for its truth and its heritage, that as you have tended to the vines, now the harvest is before you, and that you would take these harvests and make them into that which shall sustain and bring goodness to all those who would partake of same. The vines, of course, are the spirit within, and the good fruits are those things which you yourselves have set free through the nurturing and compassion, the love and forgiveness that you have applied within, so have the fruits of the vine which is you, then sweetened and seasoned to be ripe for the harvest which is now. Ever hold fast to that which you believe, for in the winds of change that are now readied and loosed upon the earth, there are those opportunities to be tested in a manner which is not unfamiliar for many of you, but may turn and become allies to you as you strengthen yourself to believe and to set free those things which are your non-belief. For the fodder of that which is to give rise to the flame of truth is before you. Those things which serve you not, call them out and place them appropriately where they are righteously to be, but defy them not, nor challenge in any wise that which is an affront to you, but give to it in the name of the Christ, as thou would know he would do. Ever stand tall unto that which is the principle of your uniqueness, and as you do, this will shine forth to add to the light of the transformation which is offered to all those now. What is the greatest gift of all that is to be found in this current Earth Day demarcation? Look at yourselves, if you are aware of the events of this Earth Day, and see that there is a renewed hopefulness whether you are of this measure of belief or another is irrelevant. The sense of openness is all about. Build that within and hold it, and let this be the kindling that fires the truth within you and bears the light of Father to the forefront, and as you do, the hope in a universal sense will grow and reach out as an offering to all peoples, all lands, and all pathways of belief. Those who would see this in a different light or with a jaded eye, we call you brother and sister, and we judge you not, and therefore whatsoever judgment you might place in this regard is felt as a gift of love from you and it is our choice to so receive any comments, any judgments that you offer, as the Christ would so do. Blessings be upon you all. Note that the call is to the forefront of one's simplicity of belief, and that the call shall grow greater and greater, as has been given and prophesied there is the call to the feminine to come forth, that the balance shall be made aright, and that the way shall be strengthened by this balance. So in celebration of our beloved Mary, we call upon all of you to remember her, as you remember our brother, the Christ. So doing completes the balance and gives honour to all, 
for there is that to be received from all quarters, so to say, and none should be sheltered or hidden, for the light of truth is found within each entity, each soul, each facet of God's love. So do we celebrate with our brother called Francis I, our sweet Lady Mary. As we celebrate this, we call upon all of you to do the same, whether or not this is a demarcation of your belief or nay, then see it, if only in this way, as a love for the balance between the polarities, and that these may come into a state of harmony, that peace shall prevail in all quarters and in all ways of thinking, and that the judgment scale shall balance itself, that the day of righteousness may dawn swiftly and with great grace. Many have come to gather here, and many are journeying as prophesied into the earth. Many of the faithful and the awakened ones who have made themselves ready are now about the work. We pause to offer blessings. This blessing is a call to the faithful that you would know we are with you and we are one. Blessed be.